Hey everyone, Noodle here. Today, I want to share with you a quick camp item review and propose that you get this item, even though it has some issues. Let's talk about this new outdoor projector. What's cool about it, what's wrong with it, and why I believe it's worth spending tickets on. The outdoor movie projector is one of the rewards in season 17, which is themed around the Pioneer Scouts. You have to be ranked 65 or higher to unlock it. And it's for Fallout first members only. So at this point, I imagine most of you have already passed that stage. If you got the projector and were excited about setting it up in your camp, you've probably run into some disappointments. The first and biggest disappointment is the render quality on this thing. The spiral that's projected on the screen is super pixelated. I mean, what the heck were they thinking? Did they assign this job to a brand new intern who doesn't even know how to upscale images? It looks like they slapped a low-res GIF on the screen and enlarged it. This three pixel wonder continues to be awesome, in air quotes, as it just randomly stops working. It always works fine when you just set it up, but after some time, it just stops. It does have an activate button, so ideally, I think you're supposed to be able to turn it on and off like a desk lamp, except that this feature often doesn't work. You can click on activate button and nothing happens. There's also my favorite version of the glitch where sometimes the light beam renders, but not the image on the screen. There seems to be no pattern or logic to this glitch, but I discovered that you can fix it by going into the build menu, destroying or storing the item and placing it back again. One time I even got lucky and was able to get this thing to work simply by moving it an inch over and then back again. Doing this, removing and placing this item back actually sometimes helps with the pixelation issue. I have seen it render smoothly, but again, randomly. Then it goes back to three pixels. My final complaint about this thing is how boring the image would be even if it was high quality and high resolution. A single spinning spiral is kind of lame. It's really not that difficult to have these things project actual content. Oh, and on that note, there's something that I need to clarify. A lot of you asked me how I got the projector to play an actual motion picture in my camp build video. And that's not something that you can do in game. You can't give it video files to play. So that would be super cool though probably dangerous. I can only imagine the stuff that people would play, so never mind. Probably best that we can't do that. Anyway, I did this effect in post-production and it's basically just simple mask of my actual camp build within my camp build. Now that I've dissed on this projector long enough, you may be wondering why I would ever promote it. I have it, and I think that despite all of its flaws and weirdnesses, you should get it too. The reason is rarity. We have only one other projector plan in this game. As far as I know, I've been searching far and wide and I can't find any others. The only other one we have is the Devil's Moon movie projector, which was one of the rewards in the Shoot for the Stars event. That was back in the day of actual season events with the original scoreboards. And you got rewards as you progressed. I have that one, and I remember complaining about how simple the image was back then as well. Well, today it looks amazing and advanced compared to the pixelated spiral. The Devil's Moon movie projector actually shows the movie poster for the in-game film Devil's Moon. Again, I wish it showed a few more clips, but honestly, at least the blue devil is pretty and looks like a movie and isn't 8-bit. This projector has similar glitch issues. Actually, they're probably the original glitch issues that the new projector inherited. After some time of sitting in your camp, it just stops projecting anything. Moving or replacing it seems to help. For me, this projector is actually a very interesting and unique addition to a camp. I have a private Devil's Moon screening room in my shelter's speakeasy. When you walk in, it looks like it's just on a still screen because it's not viewing time yet. I tend to like all camp items that display movement, light, or effects such as smoke or steam. It adds realism to builds. What baffles me the most is that quite some time has passed since we were rewarded this item, 
and it's still not available anywhere in Appalachia with any of the vendors. Again, as far as I know, I haven't been able to find the plan for this thing anywhere. If you guys know something I don't, please let me know in the comments and I'll make a follow-up video on how to get the movie projector plans. Usually, most of the special plans we get as season rewards come back around as atomic shop items or become available with vendors like Sam over at Foundation or Mortimer over at Crater. But not this one. This makes me suspect that the three pixel wonder screen of season 17 will also be a one-time special item. For its collector's value, I think it's 100% worth getting it. Plus, while the movie itself isn't very interesting, the tree stump aesthetic is pretty cool. And now that we know that Bethesda likes making projector screens, we can look forward to the next one and hope that it will be a little bit better quality. So that's my two cents on projectors. If you got this one and it's giving you grief, just shove it around until it behaves. If you haven't gotten it yet, it's only 45 tickets. You'll have to spend those tickets anyway on pretty much everything at the end of the season so that they don't expire. Would I recommend joining Fallout first just to get this thing? Absolutely not. The previous projector we got just for playing the game. This one is a Fallout first reward that you also have to pay for with tickets. So no, don't go the extra mile. But if you are Fallout first, definitely get it. This exact one will probably never be available again. If you enjoyed this short and sweet camp item review, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and feel free to make more specific video requests, such as this one, over at Vault 42 on Discord. Um, Noodle Pants, one half of Game Aviator. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe out there, Vault Dwellers. The shadows creep and sway. Cause a land of rusted dreams where the brave dare not stray. Appalachia, oh, it's a treacherous ride with dangers untold and nowhere to hide.